Okay, the first three we did substitution. Now we're going to do elimination. Elimination, just like the word says, we're going to eliminate one of the variables right away. So the first step for this, if you have a type of problem like this, is to see if you can add down 9x minus 6y is equal to 9, and then 4x plus 6y is equal to 4. See if you can add down and eliminate a variable right away. In this case, yes, we can. So this is what I mean by adding down. If we add downwards like this, 9x plus 4x is going to be 13x. And if we add down negative 6y plus 6y, it already eliminates itself, okay, is equal to 13. So your first steps first, always see if you can add down, because sometimes you can't. Now divide both sides by 13, divide both sides by 13, x is equal to 1. From there, just like substitution, you're going to plug in that 1 into any of these equations here. So I'm just going to plug it into the first one. 9 times 1 minus 6y is equal to 9. 9 minus 6y is equal to 9. We are going to subtract 9 on both sides. Negative 6y is equal to 0. Divide both sides by negative 6. y is equal to 0. Okay. So these two lines, again, these are two lines intersecting at a point 1, 0. This is your answer for example number 4. Example number five is this. We're still doing elimination. Negative 20x plus 3y is equal to negative 29. And negative 10x minus 10y is equal to 20. And the first step is target a variable, either x or y, whatever is the easier one for you. And then you're either going to multiply one or both equations so that the coefficients are opposite integers. Uh, opposite integers just means that uh, one is 2 and one is negative 2. One is negative 20 and one is 20, like that. And then from there, we can add down and follow the same procedures as example number four. So what I'm going to do is my target variable is going to be x in this case. I'm going to target this. I see that this is negative 20, and I see that this is negative 10. Uh, in order for me, uh, for them to be opposite integers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this negative 20 for this one. But on the second equation, I'm going to multiply everything by negative 2. Because if I multiply everything by negative 2, negative 2 times negative 10 is positive 20. And from there, those are opposite integers right there. So I'm going to rewrite everything now. Negative 20x plus 3y is equal to negative 29. So I just dropped down that first one. Now let's do the second one. I'm going to multiply everything by negative 2. And then for some of the students, some of their mistakes is that they forget to multiply this last number by negative 2. So you also have to be careful about that. You need to multiply every single term by what you're multiplying with. Anyway, let's already multiply. This is 20x plus 20y is equal to negative 40. From there, it's like example number 5. Now we can add down because we can eliminate the x's right away. This is going to be negative 23y is equal to negative 69. Divide both sides by 23. 23y is equal to negative 3. From there, just plug it in back into any of the two equations. I'm going to plug it back into the negative 20x plus 3y is equal to negative 29. So negative 20x plus 3 times negative 3 is equal to negative 29 negative 20x minus 9 is equal to negative 29. Just add 9, add 9. Negative 20x is equal to negative 20. Divide both sides by negative 20. x is equal to 1. All right, so your answer for example number 5 is neg uh, 1, negative 3. Here's one more example for elimination. 5x plus 3y is equal to negative 18. And then 6x plus 2y is equal to negative 28. We're still going to do the same procedure as before, where we're going to target a variable and find the opposite integers. In this case, we're going to try to see if we can find common multiples, because they're not as, um, I guess, e they're not as easy as examples number 4 or 5. And then from there, we can follow the procedures. Well, my target variable, in this case, since we targeted x a lot, we're going to target y this time over here. They need to be opposite integers. Right now, this is positive 3, and right now, this is positive 2. Well, first of all, find a common multiple of 3 and 2. So just count by 3s, count by 2. So by now, you should already know that this is 6. The common multiple is 6. But I need to make sure that one is positive 6, and the other one is going to be negative 6. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this first row by negative 2, and I'm going to multiply this second row by 3. That way, when I do multiply, this becomes negative 6, 
and this becomes positive 6 and all we got to do is add down all right let's do that right now this is going to be I'm just going to rewrite this down below here negative 10 X minus 6 Y is equal to 36 18 X plus 6 Y is equal to negative 84 add down so now we're just left with positive 8x, okay, be careful, 18 is farther away from 0, is equal to negative 48, and the negative 84 is farther away from 0, hence this is the negative. Divide both sides by 8x is equal to negative 6. Plug that back into any of the equations. I'm just going to plug it back into the 5x plus 3y equation. Negative 6 plus 3y is equal to negative 18, negative 30, plus 3y is equal to negative 18, plus 30 plus 30 3y is going to equal to positive 12 so yeah so just do these on the side over here we need to subtract them and then y is equal to 4 and so for these two lines these two lines intersect at negative 6 4 at the later problems of for substitution elimination then they're going to asked you to solve by any method of your own choosing you always want to pick the one well, not always but it's just better for you to see if you can pick the better one because sometimes some equations are better for substitution and sometimes some of them are better for elimination for example number seven I am going to choose elimination and I'll show you how this is done first of all I'm actually just gonna align them so that the equal signs are aligned so I'm gonna rewrite this like this negative 2y is equal to 6x plus 24 and then we got 7x plus 2y is equal to negative 26 now that I rewrote this and I aligned this now you can see why I'm choosing elimination instead of substitution in this case because if we add down these will get eliminated so let's do that this is going to be 7x is equal to 6x minus 2 subtract 6x on both sides x is equal to negative 2 and then from there you're just going to plug that into any of the equations 7 times negative 2 plus 2y is equal to negative 26 so this was the second equation we're just going to plug it back in and over here we have negative 14 plus 2y is equal to negative 26 at 14 at 14 2y is going to equal to negative 12 we have to subtract this but this is farther away from 0 y is equal to negative 6 so these two lines intersect at negative 2 negative 6 okay last example for this set of videos for substitution elimination um, saw by any method so example number seven we did elimination in this case for me I am going to do substitution we're almost there because we have a negative y so I'm gonna choose substitution because the y has almost been solved for you I'm gonna bring this down over here and I'm just gonna multiply everything by negative 1 sorry divide everything by negative 1 or well, either case we'll just give you the same thing so negative y is equal to 2 plus 3 halves x I'm gonna divide everything by negative 1 so we have y is equal to negative 2 minus 3 halves x. So yeah, when you divide by negative 1, all your signs changes. What well, becomes positive becomes negative, etc. From there, since y has already been solved, we're just going to plug this back into this equation right here. So let's do that. Negative 16 plus 4x minus 8 times negative 2 minus 3 halves x is equal to zero I know some of you guys dread some fractions but it's not too bad if you practice okay we have negative 16 plus 4x negative times negative is positive so this is gonna be plus 16 let's just do the negative 8 times negative 3 halves on the side if you need a little small refresher okay negative 8 times negative 3 halves that's the same thing as saying negative 8 over 1 times negative 3 over 2. You can multiply straight across, but see if you can cross reduce. And yes, we can reduce this. You can divide this by 2. This is a 1. You can divide this by 2. This is a 4. Negative times negative is a positive, so this is going to be 12. Negative 4 times negative 3. All right, so that's what we are going to put back in. So this is going to be plus 12x. Do not forget the x is equal to 0. Combine like terms okay well 
these will just turn into 0 but when we combine these this will be 16 x is equal to 0 divide both sides by 16 and then x is 0 plug that back in into any of the equations I'm going to plug it back into the first one negative y is equal to 2 plus 3 halves 0 in place of the x well anything times 0 0 so that's good negative y is equal to 2 we're not done yet divide both sides by negative 1 negative 1 remember there's a fake negative 1 right over here so y is equal to negative 2 so the answer for this is 0 negative 2 this concludes substitution and elimination of two variables